Hey guys, this is and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Paramount War Scout and whether you guys should summon or not. So okay, before we start right, if you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more One Piece Bounty Rush uh, summons, gameplays, etc. Then okay, without further ado, let's just begin. So um, there is the Paramount War Part 2 and uh, if we go to the events right, I think yeah, there is a new... The boss rate, I guess, kind of just resetted. So for those who are asking, like, the uh, marines kind of what what to do with them, right? Uh, just hold on to it for now because um, the marine tokens, right, is actually based on the how many times we kill the boss battle. So uh, we actually, they, they'll co accumulate, like, the first boss battle, I guess, second one also. So uh, before putting out the... Uh, marine exchange shop so do wait a minute boss then before um, doing anything with it so okay this is the part two so we saw that in the part one there was the um, Moria rate up I think then I I feel like there's I can't remember the rest of the characters but okay so in this rate up right we have the three characters Croc, Marco and Kuma so Croc and Kuma is honestly uh, Croc and Marco is really, really 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 good so as you can see all three characters are rated up and um, the rates for the 4 star is actually 5% so um, it's not that bad then this banner to be honest is not the worst but I still don't think you guys should summon but you can get like boost 1 boost 2 ops so it's kind of like a good really really good bit so uh, without further ado let's just do like some summons I think uh, we'll do yeah, it's about 120 gems for one rotation. So, I, I kind of hate that they put, you know, the free multi at the end because um, this means that you cannot get like 6 multi for the cost of 120 gems. So, yep, without further, let's just get started. So, uh, I am testing out like something new, um, like testing out with emulator. So, hopefully, it's, it runs better. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing like a... I'm learning like some... Um, setups from Seoul, I guess. Uh, this one looks like a shaft, man. So hopefully, we can get like a more decent gameplay right there. Alright, so... First multi was a shaft. The second one... Alright, we get we get two teammates eh, and we get like decent treasure. That's, 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 a good, that's an okay sign. Okay, gold. So we haven't seen any shine signs of getting shafted yet. 27, 27, that's okay, that's okay. Alright, oh, we're getting a 4 star here. I think it could be a 4 star guarantee in this summer. But I could be wrong. Alright. I'm hoping we can get... Okay! Um, Croc? Alright! Nice, nice, nice. Actually, I wouldn't even mind if it's Croc or Marco, man, to be honest. Like, both are really, really, really good pulls. Okay, next one, don't really have any 4-star increase or anything. Um, okay, same thing. Normal treasures. I'll, I'll love to see gold treasures, man. Okay, Groove 32. Let's go. Red, pool, that's okay, that's okay. Come on. Oh, we got Kuma. Nice, nice, nice. So as you can see, 3%, uh, so far we've been getting rated up units, so that's pretty okay. Yeah. Alright, step 4. Step 4 is a feature character guaranteed. So, it's either um, Croc, Marco, or Kuma, guys. Let's go! So, here's why I think that the boost ops, even though it's nice, honestly, I don't think you should summon because um, the thing... Boost 1 ops you can get from weekly missions, which is like... Yeah, it's, it's kind of easily obtainable. Then, the um, boost 2 is a little bit harder, but... Um, is where you get from doing clearing the event um, the event battles so the challenge battles etc so those are a little bit harder to get but 
still um, if you play continue continuously you'll get like a steady supply of them so yeah and if you buy the pass it's even uh, easier to get them so yeah like if your aim is to get them right honestly probably not no we got I mean it's okay but you know like I'll prefer a Marco or a Croc man but uh, I think they kind of buffed his medal or something I could be wrong like his medal is actually not too bad like when you knock back opponent you get heals back and this one is pretty good like you can use it for people like um, cheat where he kind of knocks back people around oh are we getting something nice oh pfft, white words but I think I think we're getting a four star here there was only one indication of it being four star wait wait does does having no teammates count as a dutch if it is then oh that's a fuse bad right there okay that, I guess we'll confirm okay nice come on Oh, we got Marco. We got every single one out of this bed. Actually, not too bad summon. Man. Okay, so yup, essentially that's kind of that for this summon, guys. Um, like like I said, I'm still testing out some things. Um, if things are right, I might hopefully be able to put webcam, but uh, I need to test some things out, man. So yup. Then I think that's it for this video. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you want to see more One Piece Bounty Rush content. Then comment below what you guys get if you guys put but I don't think you guys should summon because um, this whole month has been bait. I think uh, we will be getting really really good stuff um, like probably a new character like um, like either next week or the week after man. Uh, it's probably the week after but yeah then we shall see so um i think that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you